top five. Hey. Sorry, guys. Welcome to my vlog. I am literally on a call with my sister right now, and I'm about to go to breakfast. I just came from the gym, so. Good morning, guys. <laughs> morning guys welcome back to another vlog by ultimate fave um it is currently eight o'clock and as you guys know normally when i'm up by this time i went to the gym i went to the gym at around six o'clock in the morning so you know getting my day started by 12 o'clock things will be sad and i'm passed by you I just woke up on a bright side of life. I actually woke up with a lot more energy and I just quickly want to tell you guys why. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know, I promise today I am vlogging. I am taking you guys with me. It's probably going to be a very quick vlog. I've taken everything you guys have said into consideration. I checked the last vlog and um, in my last vlog, I actually mentioned that my vlogs are the videos that do the, like, the least well in terms of performance and... As much as I did get the loving comments away, they were like, oh no, we love your vlogs and stuff. I did also get some criticism, constructive criticism, which I felt the need to read. There was one girl actually did like a long, long, long paragraph where she explained why she felt like my vlogs were deteriorating in terms of the quality of the video, right? In the comments, uh, I'll try to see if I can plug it somewhere here. She does mention that there are times where she feels like my vlogs can get very talky and no like content is being done and I mean that's that's a fair statement to make <clears throat> she also mentioned that um, I, I say I'm gonna do something and then I don't show myself doing that activity that was also a very constructive one and more or less everything that she said I completely understood and I knew where she was coming from I just want to address two things as to as of late why my vlogs haven't been of quality like they used to be now the thing is I've really propelled in my career and I'm super grateful for that right I have done really really like great things that I feel in my opinion have changed the game for me um, starting the year off in my 30s because I turned 30 in November starting the year off like the year of 30 what's so much happening for me right now is a blessing i really don't want to lie i'm super grateful to all the agencies that have worked with me so far i just wanted to shed light on why certain things are being omitted from my vlogs now initially when i start the day the intention is to take you guys with me show you guys what i get up to show you guys what i do but sometimes like in the previous vlog okay uh, i thought i was gonna sneeze in the previous vlog I mentioned two events that I was supposed to attend and I didn't show you guys that. One was my friend's birthday, Carmen, and the other one was the Johnny Walker event. Now, with my friends, my friends are super aware that I am a content creator, but I do still want to let you guys know that it's so important to preserve that privacy when it comes to my friendships. You know, maybe, maybe I should not be telling you guys this, or maybe I should not be showcasing it, but some people are still very private, and Carmen is one of those people. Like, uh, she's a very like high-profile person. Well, in in the sense that she has a, a lot of high-profile friends and acquaintances, and you just need to understand that I need to respect their relationship I need to respect her friends I need to respect her loved ones it's her birthday so I don't necessarily have I'm not at liberty to put those people on blast especially without consent because if I'm gonna bring a camera automatically I'm being very invasive to people's privacy so that's why I didn't vlog and the second one I mentioned that I was supposed to go to a Johnny Walker event in actual fact it was not a Johnny Walker event it was actually a meeting and it was a meeting between myself the agency that works with uh, Johnny Walker and Diageo the team so again those people are people who work in corporate spaces and don't want to be associated or affiliated with the content that I'm doing. Not to say that they think my content is wayside, but they are people who just don't want to be seen in spaces like this. They are people who want to preserve their privacy. They are people who want to be low key. And because Johnny Walker is a brand I'm working with, I have to respect that. I have to respect my, obviously, my superiors 
as per the subordinate that I am. I have to respect my superiors. So when I got there with the camera, they were like, mm, cut the cameras. And I was like, fair. So um, basically what I'm saying is there are a lot of things that I'm doing as of late that I can't necessarily share as per a vlog. And it's not because I don't want to share it with you guys. I'm 100% transparent with you guys, but I'm also moving into a certain part of the brand where I'm going and I have to adhere to my contractual obligations and just like the personal relationships that I'm building with people and I would never want to put them on blast like that so I do understand your frustrations I do apologize fuck no <laughs> some girl said we need to stop apologizing in our vlogs and she's right but nonetheless I do apologize for the inconsistency in my vlogs as of late and maybe it's also part and parcel as to why i haven't been vlogging uh part and parcel as to why i delay on releasing vlogs because i also understand that i want to give you guys the best of me but i also have been so busy i can't i can't go rock and mc at show max and hold my camera i don't have someone who actually vlogs on my behalf because one of the things that i don't want to lose when it comes to the value of vlogs i don't want to lose that selfie element like i've seen some of my colleagues their vlogs they've got people who are actually holding the camera walking with them and stuff like that and as cool as that is as a concept for me i I don't know if I've warmed up to it yet. I still like having full control. I still like you guys seeing me do things in my own capacity as opposed to having someone who might catch a shot or who might see me scratch my bum. Then I forget to edit that part out because I didn't see it. You know what I mean? But anyway, this day is actually quite interesting because today I am going to be going to Glam Bar. See. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an in-store with Glam Bar today and then I'm going to be going to go do my nails and then we're going to go get my eyelashes done and then we are going to the opening of Nike Amax Day at Sports Scene in Santon. I've been invited so I'm going to be taking you guys with me. I don't know if I'm going to be wearing heels, child. I might just. Knowing me, you do what you want when you're popping. But anyway... I'm going to Glam Bar. Yes, I did buy a wig. No, it's not a sponsored thing where they're going to be doing me. So I'm actually not even sure if I want them to put me on their social media page. That's because if I'm not happy with the hair, I'm going to call it out. Guys, a 20 inch is 5,350. I am quite uh, worried because I do feel like that is quite a large sum of money to spend on a wig. First things first, I've seen good reviews about Lampa. I've always wanted to take the chance, buy a wig, a unit, but I've always strayed away from these brands, especially these luxury hair brands, because it's true. Like sometimes they give hair to their to their good clients or to their influencers, and then Tinage, oh Dorothy, oh Naledi. Then when you buy a wig, you're actually not buying the wig you saw on the actual uh, Instagram profile. So I love supporting black women in business, like every single black hair brand, most of them, if I haven't bought from them, I've tried out their hair. The only person I haven't tried out is Glam Bar. I think in terms of the luxury space, I haven't tried Glam Bar, I haven't tried Z Hair, and I haven't tried Key 23 Hair. Key, Kai, I don't know. And Hair by Kalisha. I think those were the four that I was looking to try because most of the luxury brands, my, my two favorite, well, actually my favorite will always be Emporia. I don't think I've ever gotten a, a wig better than that one. And then uh, Majestic was also a really good uh, um, hair brand, luxurious hair brand. So I think some of my best units, the two best ones that I can think of were definitely from um, Emporia Luxury Hair and Majestic. They were the two luxury hair brands that I thought were the best in terms of the units that I've gotten and then from a lower end I really really sure sure here's the hill I'm actually willing to die on as of late because their colored wigs are bomb actually their colored wigs are fire so I'm, I'm really quite worried about the glam bar 
because yesterday I made a tweet and I was like, Emporia luxury or Glamper. And everyone was like, Emporia. And then I said, no, but I already bought from Glamper because it was a time sensitive thing. And then someone said, good luck. And I really hope as per their Instagram post that it is four bundles of hair because paying 5,000 Rand for two bundles for a 20 inch makes no damn sense to me. And if they're going to give me anything less than four bundles, we are going to have a problem. I just want to, I want that disclaimer to be out there. I'm taking you guys with me. We will have a problem. I will not be happy. And I will be documenting it. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is show you the pills that I have every morning. I've been waking up and feeling so, like, full of zest, full of life. So I'm going to show you guys all the things that I take every morning without fail that have kind of given me so much zest so much energy and you guys are gonna be surprised but it's things that we should be consuming i'm just saying so let me give you a bit of a background of how i normally start my day um i normally start my day with all of this yes i know it looks like a lot it looks like a lot but these are more or less things you've seen on my channel so these are the thermocompletes from herbalife now I, I think out of all the products, you remember there was a point where about a year and a half ago, I decided that I was going to start with Herbalife. So when I started gym, which is about a year and a half, almost two years ago, I started on Herbalife. This was a recommendation for my friend Gamo to drink the shakes because I've always had an issue with food, right? My relationship with food was not the greatest. So when I started on the shakes, I did realize that because I was working out and consuming two shakes a day and one meal, I was getting hungrier. And um, the Thermal Complete tablets are literally the same as the Herbalife tea. You know that tea that helps with the, with the hunger suppressant and stuff? But because I'm not really a tea girl, I'm more of a coffee girl, I just took the tablets as opposed to taking um, the tea. So those are the tablets I take in the morning. I take two every morning and they just really kind of help me manage like my weight because i go to the gym they give me lots of energy i think because they have maybe they have costina cambogia i don't know i'll tell you something they, they smell like they smell like fart though but they're really good i'm not gonna lie and then every day i take an air immune now if you are someone who prones to get sick like me i would highly suggest you take this this is because air immune kind of acts as an immune system support so it's got a uh, shitload of vitamin c and i would highly 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 suggest you take one every single morning i swear by this then i take my because girl i'm trying to fall pregnant <laughs> i ain't trying to fall pregnant baby <laughs> they are two new tablets that i've been taking and i've been seeing quite a change but i also have these um vitamin d tablets that i've recently started but i haven't really been committing to these because i am taking a multivitamin now these are just vitamin d tablets and i don't even actually know what vitamin d does i don't know what does it mean to give me no sun what's what's the purpose but i've only taken this once and i don't actually even remember oh yes this was given to me to help with my energy levels i was feeling so fatigued like every morning was just like a nightmare to get out of bed it was just like i just i can't get out of bed right what my gp suggested was that i need to jump back on multivitamins and now i've decided to jump back on sipleton now this also tastes like a two-pack of ass right but these immune system what are these these multivitamin capsules have honestly changed my morning they've changed my routine i wake up with more energy i just feel like i can take on my day and when i tell you that these have given me so much energy that i'm actually in disbelief at times because i've had these multivitamins for years and every time they would give them to me i would just leave them in my cupboard and I wouldn't drink them. Sometimes I forget to drink them. Ladies, if you feel like you're suffering a lot of fatigue, if you feel like, you know, every day just feels like you're in fatigue, it's probably because you're not taking your multivitamins. It's probably because you're not getting your daily dose of multivitamins that you need. Uh, over how many multivitamins? 
like a gang load, like a gang load. This is how much it has. It has like vitamin A, D, A, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, B, C, uh, folic acid, cup, cup, copper. What am I? We need copper? Ah, yeah, magnesium, magnes, ma manganese. I don't know what we need that for, but it sounds like magnesium. Zinc, calcium, everybody need a little calcium. Phosphorus, don't know what we need that for, it sounds like a dinosaur. And potassium, everybody needs potassium. It's in a banana. Don't know what its purpose is, but I know you need it, and so do I. Yes. And then the last thing, yo, yo, actually, guys, I swear, I've been sleeping on like this morning routine. The last thing, I have are probiotics. Now, I don't really understand the purpose of probiotics. I really didn't. I even till today, I was still a bit like on the hazy side on what the purpose of probiotics are. But I will tell you this: probiotics alongside my multivitamins has completely changed the game. Normally, when I used to fall sick, I'd be given an antibiotic, and then I'd also be advised to have a probiotic, which kind of counteract because antibiotics kind of kill your um, your your white antibodies or your white cells. And, Ah, cells. What one? As in geography. So something about antibiotics killing the good uh, uh, body cells and the probiotics kind of helps alleviate that because normally that's what antibiotics do to kill the virus. It also kills uh, um, some of your good cells. So I just didn't even know that we were supposed to consume probiotics every day. That's yes, son. I hear I am sick. Probiotics have changed the game for me. I really don't want to lie. Like this combo with this combo. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Yeah, I'm bouncing off the walls. One would assume that she's in dash. And in dash, we call a guy for Albertin. Please, guys, don't even come at me on some. Hey, that lady smoking. You know, hey, there was this funny rumor about Spray View. As a matter of fact, when I catch people from Spray View, you guys are dead meat. There was a rumor that was started about me a couple of years ago, shortly after my mom died. And they made this rumor saying, yeah, Nelly's got so much energy. Um, Utsuan Dash. Now, who are in your opening? <laughs> then there's the dirtier, cheaper, more like. Ew, high sa tu drakima para. Yo, guys, I'm going to look at what I'm going to do because I'm going to look at what I'm going to do. But no, I need to want to do. Mind you, I can't tell you what I'm Never even heard of it. Don't even know what it is. Is it tick? Is it, is it weed? Is it laced with like rat poison? What the hell is dash? Mind you, they said I was smoking dash. Mind you, can I go? No, I was driving the Kia Rio. In the sense, I look fresh. I was 19. Market K K K it's and dash. And mind you, it was a man who started that stupid rumor. It was a nigger, mind you. Some guy that used to do Sitko Saloon, that used to do my hair, started this rumor saying Morgan I did it to dash. I'm pony guy. Red Rebloma guy. And I want to, Mama, don't ever creep me at Savanga. No, what Nyaz and Doezi. Anyway, guys, I'm not. Okay, without rambling too much, let's go get a quick breakfast and then we can start prepping to go to do our hair. I ended up going to Tasha's as opposed to going to Kauai and let me just say that breakfast was so underwhelming oh my god <laughs> yo yo <laughs> mm -mm. 
Nisu tona my skirt, nisu tona my babe, nisu tona my sweetheart. So now we're just gonna go ahead to do my hair. Um, it is currently half past nine, it's going on ten o'clock. So I'm gonna make my way to Randburg and let's get my install. Okay, guys, um, I'm here and now I just need to find the store. I've never been to the shopping center before, so um, I think I'm just gonna have to ask where the clam bar is. But let me talk to you guys as soon as I make my way in. I think I'll probably call them and I'll where they're situated. So, yeah, talk to you guys yourself. Bye, Pam. Love you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. It's giving cheerleader. It's giving I've been here before. It's giving this is my hair growing out of my scalp. Don't disrespect me because I'm me and you're you. And you aren't giving me what I need, okay? Alrighty, I come to um, Kabuchi. I'm actually just a little bit late, but like 10 minutes. But like, did you see my Like, you're not seeing it enough for my liking. Anyway, I'm just gonna put on some perfume because you can't put any without like, putting on perfume. But the one I like keeping in my bag is this one that I got from Zara. Remember, I told you guys that I bought these little portable perfumes, but I really like it. But after an hour or two, you know, it's tickets. So. And luckily, I'm so hungry. Luckily, this is a shopping center that has Nando's so that I can eat because, wow, good sis. Looking so good and being so hungry, just it just doesn't. I made you. Buying civilians and not eating. I literally look like a flipping cheerleader and I'm here for a living. I look like for a living, I'm, I play sports. So, anyway. We finally have Capucci. Let me. Oh, young boy, number. Hi. Look, new number. Do you want to? Do you Tell me. Oh, young boy. Cha cha. Kere. Bandile. I just. Oh, it's a guy comes. Hey guys, like I just want to greet you all with my brand new wig. It's taking a lot for me to get you. I'd like to thank my mother and my father.
here's the update. My one side of my nails is done, but the other side isn't done because I don't have time. I need to go do my eyelashes, and then I want to come back and finish the other nail. Hi, 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 hi. Sorry, can I just go through? Zinte. I'll call you to go to my lean we are immediately. So we're gonna go do my eyelashes. Yes, I'm on Jenny. We're gonna go do my eyelashes and then I'm gonna come back and finish my nails because your girl doesn't know how to keep time, but that's fine. And it just hit me that I haven't eaten and it's already, I haven't eaten eight and it's already like 1 p.m. So that ain't too good. But for beauty massage, anything. So I think I'll probably just get something to eat after Wazzy finishes with my eyelashes. So I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Okay, here by Wazzy. This is now step three before I go back to step two. And I'm just gonna say, I it's finally kicking in how exhausted I am because I've really gotten any sleep. But I'm hoping to get started. So. She's a different woman now. <laughs> I guess I'm doing it. done my babe is done making me look like a baddie so let me talk to you guys when we get back to capucci <sighs> so i just got home um i actually got home a little over 10 minutes ago it's currently going on 5 p.m okay so it's 16:49, and the event that i'm going to excuse me the event that i'm going to starts at six I just want to say I'm so depleted. I've literally been running around from the moment I left this house at 8 o'clock. Uh, I think I left a little after 8.30. I had to go do my hair. Um, I had a very shoddy breakfast, as you could see. Then I had to go do my hair. Then I was running late for my nails. Then I was running late for my eyelashes. And it's just been a nightmare. Um, so this is the install. Uh, initially, when I left the store, the curls were still very much intact. But because I've had a long day of just doing things, at some point, I was on my actual head doing my eyelashes. I am aware that... Um, Is that a plane or a truck or? Okay. So I obviously, it was a maintenance day, but it actually turned out to be a very, very bad idea that I chose to do all these things on the same day, um, moments before I have an event to attend. And now I can't miss this event because I am being paid to go. So I just want to say it's been a long ass day. Um, I do understand that the curls fell out. The hair is really good quality. I know you guys want to know how much the prices were. I paid 5350 but I wasn't aware that there was an extra charge of 750 rand to style. So 5350 5, is just to buy the unit. So this is not inclusive of installation. And... As much as like I was very happy with how the hair looked when I left the store, I think that charge caught me off guard because I was like, wait, what? Didn't I reach a pay 5,000 rand? Shouldn't the install be like part and parcel as to, you know? But I do understand. I mean, obviously you can't expect 
I, I obviously the normal thing to think is that the first installation with the hair is included installation is included but it seems like that's not the case with glam bar uh, i wasn't too moved about it but essentially overall total cost to buy the unit this is a 20 inch and as you can see it is quite long it is quite long the quality of the hair is really great i'm gonna have to give that to her but in total i spent 6100 um to install and to buy this particular unit this is the vanessa unit so if any of you like this um i think everyone should invest in a good quality wig every once in a while and you know i've supported a lot of other brands where i've bought a high quality wig so i'm not really upset at the price like i said i'm a realistic person i understand what goes into it i obviously will have a chance to see how good this hair is and how it handles like um weather how it handles wear and tear how it handles i mean obviously this is an hd lace so i know better than to just mess around with it but what i'm saying is over time i will see if the five thousand rand is worth it but just off the bat when i got it the bundles are very full it's a very full set of hair like as you can see there there is quite a lot of hair on my head and this is when the curls have gone down normally when the curls go down you can see it becomes a lot thinner so the fact that this has still maintained body um does say a lot and i'm not gonna lie i'm happy with my purchase I am a typical buyer's remorse. I don't like spending my own money, so spending 6000 was crazy. But then again, I always have issues with doing good things for myself. And as a content creator, as a beauty influencer, these are the things that I should be investing in. Not 23,000 Rand shoes from Louis Vuitton. Like, pff, I've only worn them twice. <laughs> Mind you, hey, that's where my money should be going. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. Make sure to check out Lamp Bar. I will give you guys an update if I do feel like there are changes. But to be really honest, I was really happy with the service. And I think what made me comfortable spending that amount of money is because the store owner and the lady who installed this are probably one of the sweetest duo I have ever met like I went in there and it felt like I knew them for five years we were talking like people who have each other's numbers from six years ago you know and also finding out that the owner Pam we went to the same university together but I obviously couldn't remember her at the time we had a different set of friends so just seeing how bubbly and lovely she is almost made me forget that she robbed me of 6k <laughs> it didn't feel like a rob but anyway did my nails my nails costed 720 this was a full as well as some designs and then my eyelashes i hope wazi doesn't kill me but i think these cost 800 and i absolutely love my eyelashes and i told wazi to call them the naledi set because these baby these baby but my girls y'all did a real thing y'all brought me back to life y'all resuscitated what was lost i just want to give a big shout out to pam i just want to give a big shout out to guaze and i want to give a big shout out to zinke from capuche because y'all y'all revived what was lost you understand so i want to go and let you work out bamba <laughs> so anyway um i've got this event to go to in about an hour I'm not going to get that six, obviously, but the reason why I'm actually cooking dinner because I don't like event food. Uh, I feel like at events, they really don't care to cater good food. Like they just give you all these day old quiches. They don't care that you're hungry. They don't care that you, you're there taking snaps and stuff. So I am cooking dinner, beef stew and bap. My third attempt in my 29 years of living to make bap. And while I do that, I'm not going to be able to do that on camera because my battery is already flashing as it is. I need to charge it so that you guys can see um, basically uh, our the end of our vlog at the Nike event. So I am going to cut it right here. I'm going to drink the rest of this very delicious bev. And I will talk to you guys when we get to the event because i'm really not gonna have time for a debrief so i love you guys and see you guys in about an hour and a half all righty guys we're done so i'm finished i'm kind of oh oh you know what i'm having such a hard time because i don't know why my story is taking so long to upload on instagram and now i've already uploaded it on my whatsapp but anyway let me show you guys what i'm wearing i'm gonna put my phone down my uber is only nine minutes away so I quickly just want to give you guys a look see i'm getting ready to leave i've shut down everything yo i'm wearing zara shoes for the first time i'm gonna be in hell anyway 
this is what i'm wearing so i'm wearing these shoes that i got from zara i think you guys saw this on my previous um vlog as well as the skirts i decided i wanted to wear the skirt just in case we end up going somewhere afterwards which i have a feeling we might the black crop top and then i've just carried like my leather jacket and my louis vuitton alma bb i think out of all my small bags it probably is the most one it's the most durable but also it's the most like it has so much space for a bag that's so small and compact so i need to go meet uh nolene there i'm not gonna ramble too much let's just go to the event let's have fun and let's hopefully end up at opera because i'm just like this just to see some damn sneakers child you crazy when it gets on that they might get so much whoa and can you perfume my shaman can you perfume Mm. My future husband might be looking somewhere here. Yeah. I think I'm going to come inside. I think I'm going to come inside. Why do you want to come inside? Oh, I know. It's my future daughter. No. Yeah, I'm going to come inside. I'm going to come inside. I'm going to come inside. Thanks for the bike. Okay, thank you. Ciao, ciao. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Deras, I just got here at like half past seven. But like, I'm not the one they were waiting for, so it should be fine, right? I mean, get a ring, what do you want to do? It's not like the is in the room, they would have been ridiculous. So, walking in, can only report when I get this. I'm not really good with understanding what we're supposed to be. I'm just happy to be here, man. Like, it's only my third day here. Like, I ain't really hanging with no number in the fucking sneak. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. I ain't about that sneaker life. Forget it. Forget it. Shame. I could rather fucking get out of you. Mm -mm. I want to sneak on this much on my outfit. So I said, I guess. Come on. And I almost mind you. I almost, I almost wore that two piece. Look at her wearing the same two piece as me. Um, you almost wore it. I, I almost.